So just a bit about my career so far. So after uh, passing out from Skull Linicliffe, I decided that I wanted to go to university. I was a bit late in going to university and didn't really know what I wanted to do. But my first course that I went on was automotive design. Now I realised quite quickly that I was unable to possibly draw cars, but past the year and work through it. Um, and then switched after my first year to motorsport engineering. Now what the degree did give me in university life did give me was a, an opportunity to interact with other people with like-mindedness. Um, and it was really great for that. It's, it's great for teaching how to self-learn, um, but the interaction side I think is really, really important. Um, from there I joined Rolls-Royce Aerospace um, and became an advanced practical engineer on the shop floor there building fabulous jet engines. Um, yeah, after two years it wasn't really for me and an opportunity came up uh, to change my career totally and go work in the financial sector um, but that involved moving my whole life down to London. Um, I did this and I'm proud to say that within them seven years it really helped me grow as a professional. Um, how to interact with other businesses, how to uphold myself, it grew my confidence um, and that was all because I was willing to make that change. Um, during the COVID and the, and the current pandemic, um, we moved up last March and it was quickly decided that um, my mum and dad's dream was to pass the hotel down the generations to the children. That after a, you know, a renovation through me and my brothers, um, that maybe it was the right time um, to put some emphasis into that. So we're currently going through um, that process. Um, I'm currently very happy, but it's just it's just a note on, you don't know where your career is going to take you, even if you don't know where you're going, to be brave enough to make those decisions and make them steps forward. So the hotel has some big aspirations for 2021 uh, and beyond. Our primary focus just now is to build relationships with the local community, more so the local businesses in the area. Um, we want to build them relationships to make sure that we're all on the same page, that we're all benefiting um, from the tourism industry um, and that we, we create those bonds that are everlasting moving forward. <clears throat> so 2020 was a, a rather difficult year for everybody with the introduction of COVID-19. Um, but we felt really fortunate, and we say really fortunate that we were able to call the island our home. Um, we tried to turn everything into a positive. I think if you can have be a positive beacon, um, that's all good for the community. So one of them was taking on my new role, um, giving the hotel uh, a kind of refresh. Um, but what we were most proud of was when we did open, um, and it was the bar that opened the first, uh, that the sport of the local community was absolutely amazing. Um, we had a really, really good time where everybody followed the rules, they understood, stayed safe, but there was a, a, there was a kind of an enjoyment behind it all. Um, and I think it, what it helped us do was realise how important we are all um, and how strong our community is. Um, this all leads us into 2021 and, and all our positive aspirations and real confidence behind our decision making. So I know that all this video is supposed to be about youth development, um, just a message to everybody that's worrying about what they're going to do next um, or what's around the corner. Just, just be brave and make those decisions and move forward with every confidence. You really, really don't know what's around the corner. Um, as for the hotel, please follow our journey. We've got a new Instagram page at the Look Boys Hotel. Keep an eye on Facebook, there's a lot of stuff coming that we're really excited about um, and we look forward to sharing that journey with the community, um, more so, but also everybody that comes and visits us.